is is the tone different when, when an organization at the top is struggling or finding its identity, Scott? And I know it's it's been tough, and you know this should be the era where on any given night any team can win, and uh, that's not necessarily the case when you've won one regulation game so far this season. Yeah, that that actually kind of has been my approach was really trying to focus not on the the big picture of the outcome, but the the little details, the habits that you need to have to be a good NHL player that, that helps teams win. And, and when you're in a situation like uh, the ducks, unfortunately are now um, it's easy to sort of lose focus on these little things that are, are extremely important when, you know, it's been difficult. So when I do talk to them, I, I try and emphasize the importance of these little things, even if they're not, adding up to what you want right now um it's important not to sort of forget about them or think they're they're not important and and that's that's one of the messages that i'm i'm trying to help them with anyway yeah and so how does the team like the ducks in their position right now um find small victories move forward come out of this season feeling like it's been a success um yeah good question (laughs) um i mean all you know everybody's a competitor that's out there and you're out there to try and win and it has been been frustrating. Um, you know, you look at uh, almost every sort of area of the game, and it just has not gone well. Um, I, I think even, most teams, even if you find yourself struggling a bit, there's probably one or two areas that you can kind of hang your hat on and, and feel good about. But unfortunately, that just hasn't worked out uh, yet. But there's plenty of season left, and uh, from what I've seen, the guys come to work, and you know, Dallas has done a pretty good job of trying to just recognize that, that when the sun comes up, guys, let's get out there and just try and get better. Um, and that's really all we can, all we can do, all anybody can do. Yeah. And, uh, and in the meantime, o- over a few short years, you try to accumulate uh, some high end talent, which is already there. I know uh, Jamie Drysdale's uh, been hit with some uh, major injuries. Yeah. Uh, Zegris is, as, as talented as anything we've seen, you know, the last few years, but he's also a guy that's probably more known as an Instagram sensation than he is as a, you know, a- anything else regarding yeah. uh, a team feel or aspect. How do you, how, do, how does a guy like that now go to the next level uh, in your opinion? Yeah. No, I mean, I, I agree with that. That That's, you know, after being in the league a long time and being fortunate to, to be part of teams that had success, you, you really get an understanding of what, what's important and how you do that. And that, that is sort of my focus. Um, the details of the game, the commitment to, to pieces of the game that don't make it on Instagram. <laughs> um, you know, that that's really your bread and butter of how you have success and, and win in playoff hockey. So, that's really what I try and emphasize, uh, teach, and, and hopefully these young kids recognize the importance of it or at least start to think about it or um, at least head that direction. And um, it takes time. It, it really does. I, um, some players are a little more mature, can pick it up quicker. I know it took me a while as a player to get Jacques Lemaire's message when he was in New Jersey and I was a young defenseman. It, it took uh, probably years for me to really – understand it completely but um you know i've definitely bought in now where i'm sitting and i benefited from that uh, during my career so i'm i'm trying to just pass that along and, and hopefully the ducks one day you know get back to being that team that's uh you know in the playoffs and, and a legitimate threat to try and win